It's a great day to be alive. The horn's been going off since five something this morning when I was here. We have so much shit on this boat. It does not lack for gear. Well known as South Florida is for its fishing, it's also known for its fast changing weather conditions. Overnight warm Gulf Stream waters condense the air with moisture, and most mornings are spent dodging rain showers. So, big lighthouse out here, about 100 foot tall. Inside of it, some good grass patches, a lot of bait. We'll go try to catch a few baits there, and then we'll probably run down Try to find some yellowtails to start out the day, see if we get the wind blowing and later try to kite fish so. Okay. Catching bait is an art an art that Ray has perfected. The South Florida offshore scene is dominated by live baiting, which means most mornings are spent at Captain's sacred bait holes, sabikiing or netting fresh pilchards, sardines, cigar minnows, threadfin herrings, blue runners, ballyhoo, or even the most coveted goggle eyes. Ray utilizes the deployment of chum bags to school the small fish around the boat and then it's quick work with one of Ray's patented r and Sabiki rigs to fill the live well full of bait. Yellowtail are a staple on the reefs of South Florida and the Florida Keys. They have incredible food value and they're fun to catch. Ray utilizes an opal technique whereby you send the bait encased in a ball of sand and chum to the bottom in an attempt to fool the sharp-eyed snapper. Oh yeah, juicy. Nice and juicy. I thought we were fishing. I know we were playing, make, playing with putty. Yeah, you know, reverting back to our childhood. So what we want to do is carry the bait that's on our hook to the fish by dropping it in this ball. That ball is going to also chum on the way down, but if you look at it, when it goes down in the water, there's not a lot of smoke coming off of it, which is what you want. That means it's not shedding, you know, you're not losing the ball. What? Didn't take you long. Probably a grunt. Maybe not. Nice. There you go. That's the targeted species. In intended victim. I'll take more of those. I'll take that. All right. Well, that's always a good sign when your first bait gets bit. Oh, so you didn't tell me that secret. Well, I can't tell you everything right away, George. <laughs> you just told me to throw it in there. Well, you know, we need to chum the surface also. Austin, feel free to give me any tips and pointers that he's not filling me in on. Obviously, it's a contest. <laughs> Thought it was just a fun day of fishing. No. There you go. Okay. 
Looks like a nice yellowtail. It's a good one. Oh yeah. Looks like we're eating good tonight. Maybe we're not moving. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta wind them fast because of the sharks. Cudas. Oh yeah. Double header. How many, what's, what's the, how many can you, can you keep? 10 per person, we're gonna be here a while. Man, yours has got a lot of pink in it. Yeah. So what I like to do, Ray, is I like to really get that in there in the middle and really okay. give it a good squeeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try that. Am I just not squeezing enough water out of mine? No, no, yours are good. But I did just get bit. I played back yeah. yeah. Back up hitter on them. There's times like in the Bahamas where you're fishing where there's a lot more muttons. You'll catch muttons on these really well. Really? Oh yeah. Same thing. Oh yeah. What about here? Oh yeah, we get them occasionally. Well, whatever you did, you did right. That's it. Learn from the master. Mutton. Oh, that's actually a dog snapper. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Wow. How's that on the eating? You don't get those very often here. That's well, a dog yeah. snapper. He's got blue stripes on his, blue dots on his eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Dog snapper. Wow. They good eating? Oh, yeah. What happened there, Ray? I don't know. I got I something. I pulled a rod out of your hand. Maybe I got the cat snapper. This is fighting different. I wonder if it's another one. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, it was. What do you think, George? You think it'll make 12? Wow. <laughs> That's a good one. Woo. I'm definitely a novice when I'm, I'm hanging out with a guy like Ray. You know, I live bait a lot, but I don't kite fish. And I'm with the master. I'm with one of the best. And it's, it's inspiring to just to sit back and to watch it all take place. It's truly, um, it's just, I'm blessed to be out here and, and be a part of it. So I try to keep the corks about at the horizon, somewhere close to there. At the horizon? Yeah, close to the horizon. And that, what that does is gives you enough elevation that the, the bait's kind of close enough to the surface you might be able to see the fish that's chasing it and but allows the bait enough mobility to look natural in the water you know in other words if you got them like some people like to pin them right on the surface and they said you know the, the the thought is well you make them splash but what you're really doing is taking a bird dog and giving him a 10-foot leash and expecting him to find a bird you know, he doesn't have that mobility to move around and look natural, swim natural. Go, lock it up. You're good. Okay, go one, one, one. Good. There's your sign. <laughs> 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 You're just letting it out. Yeah, I like it. Got a gap. Ah, uh, yeah, under the gun on the other side, I think it is. Might have to come around the front of me, Austin. Get you ready, Austin? Might be a wahoo. You ready? Get him. Yep, no, king. Saw a little blue in there. I thought maybe we were getting lucky. Nice. All right. Add to the to the pot.
Fishnet has a 90 year history of building the best fishing products on the market. Fishing the most is a lifestyle we all love, but to me it's more than that. It's a job. A job that requires having the best tools available. I travel to a variety of destinations, targeting an array of species. Freshwater and salt, inshore and offshore, shallow and deep. And Penn has the products I need that are battle tested and proven to be reliable and durable. Each product Penn produces is made with the highest quality components and hardware. Even though I'm normally working on the water, I know that your time fishing is just as valuable as mine, and the last thing we want is to worry about our gear. Penn is the name that you can trust to get the job done. Check the full line of Penn products out at a dealer nearest you. On slow days, kite fishing can be a game changer. Sometimes just presenting the bait a little bit differently, floundering on the surface, can be all that it takes to get that one bite you've been waiting for. Long's going. Keep one. Keep one. I got the long. Dolphin. Yeah, I got a nice mahi on here. Get a flat line with a pilchard. Kite's good. And drop that short a little bit. We might get a bite on the short. Have a gaff right this is a nice dolphin. So just throw the hand that bait to George, let him throw back by my fish. Just anywhere to the right of my line. See if there's another fish with him. I don't know. You see the tail of mine coming out of the water? Got the gaff, awesome. It's a nice dolphin, like eight, 10 pounder. Switch again. I'll try to roll him up to you, you know. I can, we can gaff him right now, are you ready? Yeah. Go underneath. Okay. Woo! Nice. Grab his tail, good job. Oh, let's get it. That's a good one. Take the beating for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Beauty, eh? All right. Yeah. Mahi fishing is very popular. Um, great food quality. Beautiful fish. One of the, probably the prettiest fish in the ocean. Acrobatic jumps. In certain times of the year, they school up pretty well in, in South Florida and along the East Coast. Uh, dead baits, live baits. There's different techniques that you can use to catch these fish. All right, so we got a heck of a spread out, Ray. I mean, small boat, 28, not really a small boat, but compared to what you're normally fishing. And we are covering a lot of water, and that's kind of the secret, right? Yeah, big footprint. So the thing that a lot of people equate kite fishing with is big boats, tuna tower, outriggers. But in reality, I've always felt that an open fisherman is the greatest platform to do this because we're able to fish 360 degrees. We've got kite rods going on the downwind side, deep lines, flat lines on the upwind side. So we really just have this huge footprint on the water. And so even to like, I only have, you know, three three rod holders on the side here, but you know, with these taco tridents that we can just run these, you know, and yep. run in six lines, you know, six rods off of this one side. Yeah, this is a perfect um, situation for these tridents because you can, you can just expand your number of rod holders without drilling fiberglass. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Way better. I mean, you see boats with you know 25 rod holders on one side, but not yeah. everybody wants to do that or, or has the means to do that. So something like this, we're effectively fishing two kites on one side. You have one weighted off one way. Yeah. This one's flying off that way. So we have this whole swath here. On the other side, we're fishing flat lines mm -hmm. or down lines. So, I mean, this is a kind of like ideal situation to cover a lot of water. The other cool thing is if you turn the boat, let's say we threw a sea anchor out. Now you could rotate these perpendicular to your spread no matter where you're pointing the bow. Uh, that's so true. It, it helps. Very helpful. Splash out there. Might have been a free jumper. Yeah, oh, yeah. Black fins out there about 100 yards. Oh, fish on! Go get him, get him. 
You got them on. You bit? Yep. Doubled up. We've been getting a lot of blacks and big blacks in by us, right? Yeah. I definitely feel a thump of that tail like you're talking about. And went off at the same time. Bonita like. Little black fin. Little sashimi? Yeah. I, yeah. I got it, I got it right here. You're yeah, on me. Hang on. Stand by. Stand by. Wind these spinners real quick. Somebody's wrapped up in me, but I'm you're free now. Oh, there you go, Ray's got one. Take it. Yeah. Double header. <laughs> Add it to the... Make them stand still. <laughs> All right. These are good eating. Fresh. Look at this. Look how, watch, watch, watch what Ray does. Just reach your finger through that white membrane. And they're bled. We'll put a little water in there. We'll put a brine in here. Which means we'll put some salt water in here. With this ice. And we'll cool them down right away. And that quality of that meat will be so good, especially fresh. Ray taught me this. You throw, like, let's say you take a mahi and throw him in there on that ice when he's still alive, and he's thumping around and beating himself on the side of the well and side of the cooler. That all does is damage. So if you can bleed him right away, get him in this, you can see this bath of brine we got here. This is colder than, than just him being in there on ice alone. Just a nice saltwater brine. Yeah, we were talking about one of the cool things about this area is you have Elliott Key just in shore of us. So that forms like a, a, a seawall or a block for that outgoing tide coming from the huge Biscayne Bay. Yeah. Biscayne Bay is an enormous shallow water bay that dumps a lot of water on outgoing oh, tide. Fish. Got a bite? Is that a short one right there? Yeah. Yeah, wind fast, there's something there. Still there, I saw a busting. Dolphin jumping, I don't know. Yeah, keep whining, he's, he's swimming to the left. There you go. Very fast. Cool. Oh, just came off, but you had him. No, he's oh, there. No, he's still there. I saw you it. You mean to pick up rods? I'll just go around it. Something little. Small. Dolphin. Oh, I better get the gaff for that one. <laughs> Just sitting there talking and one swims up. I looked over uh, off and saw a splash. A little dolphin, a little mahi. Yeah. Mahi, I mean a little mahi and a little ahi. Yeah, right. Sorry about the boat. There we go. <laughs> you quickly feel like you don't know much when you fish alongside of Ray. Um, I, obviously, I spend a lot of time on the water, but when you get next to a guy with this caliber of knowledge, this is his wheelhouse. I mean, this is what he does every day. This is what he's perfected, and it's it's an art, and it's amazing to watch um, watch him work. There's always opportunities to learn from others, but fishing with Ray is special. He's a true master of his craft. I reflect on the things that I've learned from him in the short amount of time that we spent together and can only imagine how much more he has to share. Yeah, that, that's really why Austin's here, so I can just harass him. Hey, where are they? I thought you said this was a good spot. You notice I went to his spot, right? That's an old trick. You learn that in captain's course. You, you, go to, to, you go to his spot, first. And, then it, yeah, and then if it doesn't work, you can you tell go. him, I told you so. Yeah, and you know, blame him for failure. Male or female? 
Um. <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> I want that on film.